Today I'm going to show you how to use your grip and your arms to control muzzle flap. For that, we're going to go down to a car wash, and I'm going to explain the principles there. Okay, we're at the car wash today, and I'm going to demonstrate a principle of grip for you to help you understand what exactly you're supposed to be doing with your shooting grip and your arms. Three things, grip, stance, and the trigger. Those create what we call the triangle of control. Most people will tell you to get their hands on straight and put the bones out here, and I said this way back when, in 1991, straight lines and strong angles are weak. We're creating a straight line of force, but it's not as simple as just creating a straight line. You want to be able to hold pressure and direct pressure along this line. You do this by camping forward and holding this forward, using the arm muscles here in the forearm, the whole forearm camps forward, however. Then, you lift the elbows and Imagine this bones and the arm, both arms, as a lever. You're going to press the bones into the hand, creating forward pressure through the top three knuckles, holding that wand and holding that wand level. And this represents the gas pressure coming out of the gun. So let me go turn the wand on. Let me show you how this works. Okay. So now we're going to do that. We're going to hammer and forward, and we're going to use that the arm bones and both arms to lever in and put pressure into the gun. And the gas pressure is the water coming out of the end, simulating reach of gas of a gun fire. So we're holding it, jamming, and lifting it, holding that pressure, releasing it, bring it back up, holding that level. And we're holding it level, that's all we're doing. One more time. And honestly, that pressure is remarkably similar to what you would do with your gun. So now we're going to go up to the range. We're from the range, and we were just down at the car wash doing our business down there. Now let's see what it looks like with a gun. Again, we have our arms. We have that straight line feeling here. Remember what I said back in 1991. Straight lines are strong. Angles are weak. I want to create a straight line of force, much like a vertical punch in the martial arts. However, we're going to have a little bit of a slight difference there when we create the line in that we're going to use the bones of the forearm we're going to lift the elbows and take this bone and cam it into the back of the hand here to create pressure into the gun and what we're trying to do is hold the gun and brace the gun level we're not trying to hold the gun down it has to lift and recoil but when it comes back I want it to come back with my sights aligned and we're going to calibrate this on this metal target just to get a sense of, are we doing it correctly? So let's go ahead and shoot. And I'm going to bring my gun up into the target, raise the bones, brace the gun, and I'm gonna fire one shot, check where my sight came back to. Bring it up. And everything should come back in a nice tight little group if I do that correctly. I'm Ron Avery. Share it if you will with your friends. I appreciate you watching. See you next time.